you are going to stand your ground we'll have them shoot at will while our three units are setting here hello everyone welcome back to another episode of manor lords i am panicking and we are gonna get in here and put this baron to the test we already have another province we have our church built so now we need to start working on building up our population and our manor and getting some more food and supplies into our village that way we can start working on our second village new province to start transporting salt a couple of double handed swords a war hammer there like a shortened halibut over there in the back corner our people are currently harvesting the field here of wheat that we have we have a couple of our homes being upgraded our church is here now as you can see looks like we're doing all right with the logging camp tannery is doing its work we're doing good on planks food is around we're pretty much a fish population going on here advanced threshing should be high but i need you guys to empty this field first before we worry about doing any threshing what are they doing right now crop grow 20 percent. they should be harvesting this stuff already they were out here at one time harvesting this up got a few of the vegetables picked out of our garden it looks like a couple level twos our blacksmith down here on the end we'll start having to peel up that iron ore soon though with that iron ore so we can start making some tools and some weapons construction finished at one of our plots which is good don't know why this is not harvested all the way yet but we'll have them go ahead and harvest that we do have a little bit of grain very low spoilage on that grain now since we have that grain we need to get our windmill and communal oven up once i find them and stop having to rotate through all this crap all right so let's see where would be a good spot i've got 97 98 percent out here 99 percent we'll put it right there right behind the wood cutter let's put us a road in and let's see about our communal oven it's not a big deal to hurry and get that communal oven in we just need to get that stuff broken down okay we can put a little bit of an angle there that's that's pretty cool we hadn't done that before these uh wood wood guys are going to end up moving over to the far side over here so they can work on this area we will need some more um hitching posts down here though if we do that as well we just need some more people bringing you know bringing this stuff into us quicker doing pretty good on our fishing it is seasonal so we do have to watch that we don't have anyone right now to do the grain I mean, uh, to do any building at the moment. They've got that in. They should be threshing that down. I'm going to drop that down to how many people are actually there working so that we can get these buildings finished up. All right, level two, level two, level two, level one. That needs to go to level two. So we'll get that third upgrade or that other upgrade on that building vegetables in these two places i need to change that as soon as i can but it's not letting me just yet development uh missing fertilization okay all right so we're starting to get winter coming in fuel is down a little bit so we probably need to get another person in here to work on that i have another well that's been put in they have threshed this down to grain firewood stall put into the marketplace got 81 percent in food 64 percent 73 percent for firewood and 69 percent for clothing how are we doing at our hunting camp we don't have anyone there let's get someone in our hunting camp let's uh pull our fish guy out we'll leave one person there we'll put one more back into the fishing but we'll pull one out of the crop area i can't i don't know why this won't change doing good in food as far as the fish goes got plenty of firewood plenty of planks just gotta get some more going 
that everyone's got what they need. Let's uh, build up the priority on that windmill so they take care of that first. We can start building the, uh, or cutting this uh, grain down the flour. Nothing else is here for us to take care of. Let's pull our folks out of there. Now we said in the last video when we took over this other province, this is going to be our main farming hub and workhorse hub. I guess you can say the reason is, is if you look at the emmer, look at the flax, look at the barley and the rye, we have a lot better fertilization than we do up here in the current area that we're in. You see basically no flax, no barley and barely any emmer for our wheat production. So the Raiders are coming in 71 days. We have to prepare for that attack. In the process of preparing for that attack, we've got to get these guys shifted over to start making some better tools. We already have a blacksmith in. I want to do a, do I want to do a cobbler here or do I want to do the shields? Let's do a cobbler here. We'll do the shields in that one. Let's see what we need here. Taylor shop. Not really worried about Taylor at the moment or Brower at the moment. We could do this, um, but I want to hold off because the main important thing right now is the, is the weapons and the tools. But we need to see if we are getting, we do not have any iron ore that's coming in at the moment, nor are we got any buildings up to start smelting that iron ore down into new things. So... That's kind of where we're standing at right now. Hopefully we can get these under construction, get this construction done faster. I will move this, uh, the low, the whole lumber area. I will move it to the other location. Once winter is done and we get through with the firewood or the fuel that we need, get that moved down, get them the smithy in, which we could probably go ahead and start looking at. <laughs> Clay furnace, I don't have that yet. We need iron slab. We'll put it there. And the smithy, put right beside them there. Now let's get our road in. That'll be where our bloomery and everything is going. Our windmill is up. We don't have anyone to work it just yet, but it is up. What if we was to say in a windmill here? That's 98%. Can we? I think we could get away with it right here. I don't want it that direction though. Uh, demolish. I don't want it in that particular direction. So let's get rid of that one. In the communal oven. We'll get rid of that one as well. And we'll put the communal oven right here beside the um, windmill. With the bloomeries on the back. That way it doesn't really have us out here. Try to keep everything centralized in one location. Like I said, we still need someone over here, which we need to go ahead and get them in. Uh, logging camp, we'll pull one of you out. There's no one at the tannery. There's two people at the woodcutter. Granary, storage, just both got somebody in it. We're doing, oh, I didn't mean to do that. We're doing, we got some median. That's good, that's good. I'm gonna change this yet, no? It's gonna make me wait. No one at the farmhouse. We do have someone still at the fishing hut. Probably need to bring in some new homes. We've got enough timber that we could actually bring in some new homes. Get some more people involved here. All right, our settlement has increased a little bit more. Well, let's hold off on a few of these homes. I want to get a little bit built out of time. Matter of fact, do we do the last two? at all all right so we got two that's still being or that's gonna start construction pretty soon still can't change this around i don't think there's anything out there all right so we have the heavy plow we have sheep breeding orchard we picked up the advanced pond keeping in the last one as well i think we need to run for charcoal it's going to be the uh push right now Raiders in 56 days. What is our army looking like? 15. All right, let's see. Can we get our joiner in here? Blacksmith advanced uh, spears. What the hell is that? I look like damn shurikens. 
So they are currently building spears. We do we have we have iron slabs? We do not have any iron slabs just yet. Um so we do have someone that's gonna be doing spears, the cobbler, joiner. What do we got? And yeah, we need somebody for the construction. So I've got to find someone who is available. Let's take one out of the firewood. There's nobody in the saw pit. We had to put somebody in the iron ore. We had to put someone in fishing. No one is at the farm anymore. And then there's uh, somebody at the hunting camp. So if we do not have this under production going pretty well, I'd say probably around turn 20 or so, we might need to go ahead and hire some mercenaries just so we can take care of that military unit or that um raiders that are coming in before they gets too too much on us that, that hi all right we got our joiner shop built advanced we need to be doing big shields big shields big shields they are working on spears the cobbler what is he doing just shoes overall should be pulling the leather out for those shoes Let's see what else we got. We've got brewery. We got the Tyler Bauer butcher. We're gonna hold. <clears throat> we're gonna hold off on trying to build any more of these because I want all that what we do have to focus on these three. Cobbler. We don't even have to worry about the cobbler as much initially, but it will help with the clothing. So happier the better. Feels doing good food variety is doing decent enough as well we do have other homes going up it's just going to take them a minute to get there because they are concentrating on these other things to get built fishing is still doing good how much fish do we actually have right now okay we're gonna pull our fishing guy put him in the windmill windmill bloomery smithy okay these are both built Requires fueling. Okay, okay. We knew, well, we kind of knew that anyway. Bloomery, we need to make some iron slabs. Need somebody in there to make those iron slabs. The smithy, I'm not really worried about at the moment. Okay, we do have someone. No, we do not have anyone in the tannery. Ah, no one at the farm either. We do have someone down here at this pit, though, right? Yes. So how much iron ore have we already picked up? Have we got any? Does not show me any iron ore picked up yet. Okay. Is there any iron ore at the place? I don't see anything. We don't have anyone for construction right now. So at the moment, we're kind of at a standstill for construction. We are at 30 days. Mercenary companies. Let's see... All right, so we do have the new setup for the crossbow militia, but we are, you know what? Hold up. Can we get another spearman group? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, hmm. I need some mercenaries because it's already day 25, so kind of looks like we're going to be going in that route. Cause I, don't, I know we don't have enough in the army. Influence is good. Money's good. Construction, food, firewood, flour, grain, hides. Those are all looking pretty decent right now. We do have two large shields, but we do need spears. We have two sets of shoes. Is there anyone at the tannery? No. What are we looking like leather-wise? So we're technically out of leather, out of leather. So we're going to pause the cobbler shop for the moment. Now all right let's see these guys are brigades wayward sons these are archers these are lightning paid up front for each month's service so we have mercenary companies i just don't know where exactly they are they are at the moment don't think they're in town yet see where the hell they're at Surrounded by trees. All right, here we go. All right, so here's my guys right here. 
We're going to start sending them up to my territory. Get them moved up so that we can deal with this uh, these raiders when they come in. Might even catch them outside of our village before they actually get here. So. Meantime, we got to keep our village going, keep our people happy. Get some of this other stuff taken care of as quickly as possible. Flour's doing, I mean, we're cutting through that grain pretty quick, making flour. I believe we'll be able to get out of the winter months with the current firewood that we have. We are, we did unlock the charcoal. So probably once we get a um, good setup, we could put all that stuff right in this area right here and just have them focus in this area. Matter of fact, I think we will possibly do that. I'm trying to keep it from where it will not tear down any extra trees or anything. So it doesn't like mess anything up. I think that'll help out a little bit there. Maybe even, there we go. Logging camp, we'll move this stuff when, um, once they get uh, out of winter, I'll move this logging, the logging camps and everything. And I'll put them down here on this end closer to where all the woods and stuff are. Not so much just right here on top of, because some of this is, we could do for, um, what says rye, I believe it was. Yeah, this is a good spot right here for rye. So we'll try to put the logging camp and stuff a little bit further down this way. Just cut in, put in a couple of cut over roads just so that people could get through and everything. So let's see, where is my, there's my mercenaries. They're making their way here. Probably take them a little bit. It's five days in. Doing good moving that about. Still need people in these homes. Firewood there. Let's pull one out so we can have somebody for construction. Maybe get a few more families in here before uh, things get too bad on us. Yeah, because we're not, I'm not seeing anything uh, iron ore wise coming in. If it is, it's going straight to the boomerang. I mean, yeah, the boomerang. I'm not seeing it. Might be hurting in that particular category. All right, Raiders are 18 days out putting our houses just about anywhere we can kind of squeeze them into to maneuver a few other things around so that we have uh, our thing, our, our um, things like our windmill and oven in good spots to be able to reach the people. Clothing is now at a hundred percent. That's great. Food varieties at 78 and firewoods at 82. The food variety will pick up when we start putting in more, um, of this spread here, getting the spread cooked up, made up. A little bit more grain to do. Once that grain is done, we'll switch over, pull our guy out of the windmill and put him in the communal oven. We got another home finished. Still not getting anything out of this iron ore. I don't think we do something wrong. It shows them down there working. We haven't had anything put in uh, put into the storage building yet. Check, see where our mercenaries are at. All right, they're in our other province. So they'll be getting getting to us soon. Have another house built. Raiders will be in in eight days. All right, we got two other homes built up. So that should be bringing in some more people fairly soon. Bandit camp was sighted. Let's see where that's at. Maybe close to us. Oh, no, way out there. Uh, we can't deal with that right now. We have... Like I said, we do have the Raiders coming in in a few days, so, and they should appear like in the, like right on top of our province. So they might be coming from this back, back area here. Approval ratings at 95%, uh, public orders at 9%, 90%. It's down 10 because we don't have any administrative buildings that would be the manor itself. But we'll work on that as soon as we can get out of this winter, these winter months and start uh, producing that again. We need someone here. Another ruler's army is sighted. Is he heading for the... He just put in up here one of his main provinces and is going to head down to that bandit camp before we can do anything about it. But that's fine because, as I said, we are going to be dealing with some raiders very, very soon. Ah, and that comes out of our money. Ugh. Next payment's in 10 days. These jokers get here in five. 
So we might be able to squeeze this out. I wasn't really paying attention. That money actually comes out of our pocket, not our uh, regional wealth. <laughs> so that'll give us enough time to just actually fight and win the battle. Hopefully, before they get paid again, they and we can get them, you know, get them gone. We won't need them anymore. But that's just it. Just all depends. Right now, it's going to be cutting it very close, Raiders and two. So we have about five days to finish this military unit off, uh, these Raiders off, before we have to pay our guys. All right, so the enemy is spotted. Let's see where they're spotted at. I'm not spotting them. <laughs> I'm not seeing them. All right, here they go. So let's get our guys up here, and we will rally our other folks to here you two i need you guys to pick up your pace i want you here you get here and then you guys i want you to sit back here so our raiders are near as you can see we've done this before i'm only seeing one unit but they're hiding out in these trees so we're not getting a good view of them so let's bump up our speed we should catch them right here in this opening, which would be good for our archers to just lay waste on them. You are going to stand your ground. We'll have them shoot at will. While our three units are sitting here. Stand and fight. Push forward. We're going to fight them out. So they're two days out. So we've got to crush these guys quickly. Archers should be in position. They are firing. Looks like we got one group to run. Looks like they're about to fall as well. They did. So now we can disband. And there's nobody here but us now. So we got about 600 influence off that. We didn't get any money, but we did get the 600 influence off that. And we can make our guys uh, on back to the house and get back to doing the normal things. All right, he's there. I have a hitching post here. Available space, one on one. And the other hitching post is, is where? Right here. Okay. How do we not have enough? Oh, we must have ran through our planks for these buildings. Okay. So we'll definitely need to redo all that. But in the meantime, we need to be there. Woodcutter, we're going to move you to right across the street. Saw pit, we're going to move you there as well. So those things are going to be moved. The tannery, we will keep in place where it's at right now. We do have three families that can do things currently. Need to put one in here because we do have a lot of flour. The windmill is down for the time being and we have someone here. Bloomery, I'm not worried about right now either. Iron ore, we need to get some people in here to get this damn iron ore. Okay, that being said, we need two people on this farm because this needs to change. I don't know why it keeps why it won't let me change that? I guess it's still saying that it's it's cropping whatever's still there. Go figure. We have six shields. We'll be working on the spears. We might as well just pull the one guy out of the bloomery until we get a a um a uh, good bit of um, iron ore in. Excuse me. Why it took me so long to get that out? We also need to build a corpse field cemetery type thing we'll just i don't want to put it over here because i'm thinking about putting the manor maybe over here we just put it down here at the edge of town what the hell is that that's a well uh let's put it somewhere else do we put it down here we'll just put it across the damn way from the damn uh iron ore place so we survived against the raiders uh, of course, we had to use some mercenaries this time around. He is going to get to that bandit camp long before I could ever get down there in time. So we will miss out on that. However, our influence is high enough right now, folks. 
our influence is high enough to grab another territory. Now, there's only one other territory that has fishing and one other territory that has salt. That salt deposit's not that great. But if we grab this one here, we have a great uh, clay deposit and a rich iron ore deposit. So we're gonna go ahead and start claiming. This is going to be the first time in Manor Lord and our Manor Lord history that we will be able to outgain the Baron. And that's what we're doing. We're grabbing this other territory right here in front of us for this iron ore, the rich iron ore deposit, we're skipping out on the stone and the food, the food here and the clay here with the berries. All because of this iron and clay deposit here, which are both rich, which is going to come in handy a long run of things. So we have our third province now being claimed. That's great. I didn't want to do this. I don't know. Let's just do early harvest and force it. Maybe it will clear it out enough that we can change it over to fallow. No more grain to break down. Our flour is... 43 we got a couple in the communal oven itself already do have a family that can can now build we got supplies out the yin yang over here that needs to be moved and like i said a couple people in the uh farm to take care of this field that somehow jumped ahead of us we have no one in the fishing hut but we need to check to see what territory that is that's being Oh, he's claiming this one right up here above us here. I'm surprised. He's going for the food and stone, I guess. I figured if, if, it, if it, it has to be for the stone because there's a richer deposit of food here in this area. So he's claiming one. I'm claiming one. We could fight him in the battlefield. He does not have anything but mercenaries that are currently out. And we cannot afford any mercenaries because we just found out in the last one. Of the last group of mercenaries we hired that uh comes out of our pocket so that's something we definitely need to be on the watch out for next time around our corpse pit is almost completed once that's completed we can send someone down here to start picking up all these bodies i just gotta get all these supplies up here that we've got woodcutter is open logging camp is open Thinned up now and the sawmill is opened up i am not putting anyone in the log mill right now i probably need to put someone in the cutter because we're only down to we're down to three months supply i don't know what the hell's going on here um, um we're just going to demolish this one so i don't know what's going on why it's not actually picking up any of that iron iron Put somebody in the logging camp. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not do the logging camp. Put one person in the woodcutter. I need you guys to pick up all these supplies over here. Hitching post. Do need another person maybe back in the tannery because I'm pretty sure we're getting full up on leather. We've got 18 leather. Left. And then we have someone in the communal hut making bread. Food variety, as you can see, has gone up. We have vegetables, meat fish and bread now fuel we're still working on getting a couple more houses covered and clothing the same but we are got our tanner guy back so the clothing should be should not be an issue for too much longer construction finished here we'll put someone in the mining pit there finally corpse pit is finished as well we got a couple families currently working on that advanced threshing is high field is what is the field doing right now it's not supposed to be doing anything so we're turning that over to fallow we'll pull leave pull uh somebody out of that put someone in the corpse field until well i'm not seeing anyone popping up for that anymore someone's already in the tannery got families out for doing construction right now need to get someone in the fish hut we already have someone in the uh, firewood pit. All right, advance. Let's see. We're gonna put your area of work uh, probably just gonna keep you guys primarily in this area as far as cutting goes. These supplies still need to be picked up. 
So we are slowly building our village back up to what it used to be. We now have three territories ahead of the Baron. We beat the Raiders coming in. So right now, what we are working on is the betterment of our village, getting a few more things built up as far as tools and whatnot. We are going to pause the joiner shop for a little while because we have already have eight shields and we have no iron ore coming in yet. So we got to get that iron ore built up moving. There we go. Starting to finally see that come through. Got some supplies laying around here as well. So we have a hitching post here. We can't upgrade because we don't have the planks. We don't have the people to put in the planks right now. Let's go ahead and unlock some more of these homes through here. We'll leave that one. That'll help boost up uh, the population that we have coming into town. And let's have a look, see. All right, so right here is our big uh, pond here go fishing in you see across the pond there's an oxen looks like they're carrying something lady out here fishing some lily pads here's our wheat field right here beside the road just right across the way from the fishing hut over there's a little farmhouse a little hitching post right there of course our village is back this way as you can start seeing well here Here's our little marketplace right here and right outside of our church. A couple of our homes right here. Uh, there we go. A little church right there. Our windmills you can see in the back. Another auction. That might be the one we've seen on the other side of the lake there. On. There you have it, folks. This is how our, how our village is going so far right now. We still got plenty of work to do. Very short amount of time to do it in. But until then, we will see you guys next time. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.